Hi, welcome to BizDev Weekly, the business development show. I'm Kirsten Kloss. Thanks for watching. You know, I've been running BizDev Weekly for a number of years now, and uh, throughout the years, I've built a very strong, powerful list of connections on LinkedIn. Uh, that list of connections, the followers of my show episodes, uh, the connections that do business through my networks, uh, those are uh, lists of people that I have incubated and built over the years, and I'm very proud of that list. And uh, I have to thank LinkedIn uh, for facilitating the development of that list because of their amazing connectivity. Now that said, it's still a list that's controlled by LinkedIn. It's not a list that I had personal control over. And uh, what I needed to do is I need to, to extract all of those connections and those contacts in such a way that I could retain control over that in the inevitability that perhaps LinkedIn might change their policies or perhaps my LinkedIn accounts might be compromised due to a hack. We've seen what's happened uh, in online networks and hacks and people cutting into your connections and shutting down accounts, well, it could happen. So I'd rather have a copy of this that I could download. And if ever there were to be a problem, I could re-invite those people into another LinkedIn account. Now there's a way you can do that in LinkedIn and most of you probably are not aware of that. And it's very important that you do that backup to have a copy of that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. But further to that, there's also ways in which you can use that list, organize it, group it, and then uh, in integrate that into other tools that can invite people to events. Or perhaps you want to put it into a database that then you can then uh, easily have access to it for organizing in special letter campaigns or follow-up campaigns. What about the phone numbers? There's hundreds of phone numbers on that list uh, that you have to actually go into LinkedIn and connect with those people in, you know, actually open the page uh, in that mundane, repetitive way to find those contact information. What if you just want a list to hand off to a sales rep of yours and say, hey, follow up with those guys? How do you do that? Well, I'm going to show that too here. But for, for starters, do the basics, which is to download that spreadsheet to get that information. Let me show you how you do that. So here I have Elaine, uh, one of my assistants. If you want to go and get her connections, basically you go over to the connections tab. And she's got a good number of connections. Once you're in there, you'll see there's a gear on the right hand side at the top here. You click that. And that's going to get you into her connections. You see here, 2000 connections on the right hand side under advanced settings, uh, click export LinkedIn connections and you'll have access to the exportable spreadsheet file. So here, basically you click that, you click export and you're going to have a downloadable file after you put the security in there and you'll get a list of all the connections you see down here. I've, I've exported that a few times right now. So once you have that list, it'll look like this. You have the first name, the last name, email address, the title, and the company they work for. Some good basic information. You can basically go in here and you can, uh, you know, you basically know their director role, their president role. So essentially you can go in and sort this and group this by the role. Let's say you want to have all the presidents and you want to communicate with all the presidents in that company. You'll be able to do that. So now you can send a message to all the presidents separately uh, in a spreadsheet, it's in, a, in, a, in a separate invitation, let's say to an event, for example. So that's a way of doing that uh, very simply. But bottom line is you've got a list here and they're in the thousands of all these connections safely stored on your computer that you can do whatever you want with afterwards. You know, they've given you a digital handshake. They've connected with you on LinkedIn. You have the right to communicate with these people. Now that said, there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. You don't want to throw all this into a, a mass email program, auto subscribe them and then send them, uh, you know, weekly updates on topics they may not be interested in. They didn't sign up for. That's the wrong way to use something like this. The right way to use this is let's say you have a small group of that, those people that you want to invite to a special event. You select those people, you send them a message saying, Hey, we're connected on LinkedIn. Thought you might want to come to an event I have hosted here in town. Why don't you come join me? Something like that. That's the right way to do it. Now that said, Always check with your local rules and regulations and guidelines and laws when it comes to spam and digital communications. Make sure that you're on side for what you're doing. Uh, but pretty much anything inside LinkedIn, you have no problem communicating with those people. They've opted in to communicate with you. You have their email address. They've forfeited that email address. You have the right to communicate with them. 
Now, let's say you want to do more with this. Let's say you want the entire list. Well, this is your basic uh, amount that you can extract. And in some cases, it's only the first name, the last name, and the email address that they're going to give you on LinkedIn. These extra features sometimes are not available. But let's say you want everything, including their phone number, their address, their you know their IM contacts, their birth dates, all of the details. Well, there's a there's an advanced feature here. And you see here all of these connections. That this is the same account exported a different way. Uh, we have you know we have all of those details let me go to the top and you'll see here name contact this is their their number their actual account number inside linkedin industry phone numbers and see lots of phone numbers here lots of them and these are all the direct lines typically to the people uh the company name the title which you otherwise would have had address birth date im message all of these details this is a service that you can hire to uh, log into your linkedin account and they actually scrape every single contact you have on linkedin and download it and it's a one-time service fee in order to gain access to all your LinkedIn contacts. I would suggest you check that out. There's a link here after the show that you can go check that out. The other way to do it, of course, is to subscribe to the, one of the ultra premium accounts on LinkedIn, uh, probably the recruiter level or the enterprise level, and then you'll have access to all of this, but that can get quite pricey, uh, especially if you just wanna have access to that one time. So that's uh, basically how you gain access and control of your LinkedIn account and uh, uh, gain access to all of those detailed information. I mean, look, that's your list. You built that list. You have the right to that list. So uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you watching the show and following me here on uh, online and on LinkedIn. Uh, stay tuned again real soon for one of my upcoming episodes here on BizDev Weekly, the business development show. I'm Kirsten Kloss. Bye for now.